you got a one location business and people are avoiding the area like the plague, it's just, it's hard. Whether you're driving or walking, it's hard to miss signs that construction season is underway in Winnipeg. The roadblocks not only slowing down commuters, but also business. Tamara Cook, the owner of Blondie Hair Bar, just opened her salon about two weeks ago. She says the construction has been making it difficult for customers to access her salon. You start to like tell people that you can park right out front and it's amazing and they won't have any issues. And then a week after you open, they put all these pylons up and then there's nobody here working. Nearby at Doug and Betty's Ice Creamery, it's the same story. It's certainly hard. I mean, with us, we're definitely a seasonal business and like we haven't had the greatest season. Like it's the weather's been pretty bad. Uh, and to top that off, now all of a sudden there's no parking for people and the weather's not as nice. The Canadian Federation of Independent Business says about 66% of Manitoba small businesses have said they have been affected by construction. It's why they are calling on municipalities like Winnipeg to provide some financial relief to small businesses, such as through compensating them for lost revenue or tax breaks to ease the burden off them. We've seen a few cities implement policies like this and, and some of those cities have included compensation, so Montreal, Calgary, Quebec City. In a statement to City News, the mayor's spokesperson Colin Fass said the city is focusing its efforts in speeding up construction, including hiring Winnipeg's first ever chief construction officer. The system's broken, something's not right. Like, there's just the sheer amount of construction is just too much. It's just too much for small businesses to handle. Maybe they can hire a night crew like other cities do and they can just get the work done in a, in a, like a timely fashion rather than it be all summer. That would be ideal. In Winnipeg, Edward Jan, City News. <sighs>